it go any faster, Captain? Quasi, that shipwreck has been down there for years. It'll still be there in a few minutes. Oh. <sighs> Look, everyone. There it is. Well, Quasi, do you think it's Calico Jack's ship? That's got to be a carving of your grandfather. He even looks like you. Let's go inside! Yeah! Hold on, Quasi. Huh? This may have been a pirate ship once, but now she's home to hundreds of plants and animals. So, Octonauts, be extra careful. We don't want to disturb anything. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Have you got that, Quasi? Quasi? Uh, I wonder where that spyglass might be. Yeah! Oh, spiky sea urchins! be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, dagnabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's, and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys. Let him have it! Looking good. Check out my nice new skin and fur. You've finished all your molting. Congratulations. Chest bump! <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to knock you over with that. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. I'm just excited to get to the beach and play with all the other elephant seals. Well, I'm afraid we haven't found your beach quite yet. You haven't? But this is a special time when all of us wake up and play games. And I'm missing out on all the fun. Don't worry, we'll find your beach. And while we're looking, we can have fun here on the Octopod too. We can? Can we play some elephant seal games? You know, like we do on the beach? I'd love to. I'll show you the games room in the morning. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite games, wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah, elephant seals love to wrestle. Flipper to flipper? Okay, flipper to flipper. Whoa. Okay, uh, we'll make it two flippers against one. 
on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa. Phew. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes I forget how strong I am. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. But maybe we should try a different game. Hmm. How about a race? You're on to the hallway. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a head start. Thanks. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Not to worry, I'm fine. Leon! Oh, oh, Quasi, on the beach! Elephant seals! And not a moment too soon, eh, Captain? Astronauts! Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go! Do you really think Tweak's costume will fool them? If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. <sighs> Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being mood. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. <sighs> um... We need to blow harder. Everybody. One, two, three. <gasps> now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behavior. They love to get cozy and cuddle with one another. Cozy isn't quite the word for it. <laughs> That's better. You don't get too relaxed. Aye, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> Bigger! Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful! Quasi, try to get back into position! Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting on my... Hey! 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 Intruders! Oh! Run! Captain, come in! What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time! <laughs> Gosh, it's getting dark out there. That's because we're getting further from the sunlight, down into the twilight zone. It's too dark for plants to grow, but 
there are still plenty of animals. Including sea stars. A vast species. There's a mess of them right there. Excuse me. I see you're all sea stars. Nah, we're called brittle stars. What's it to you? We're just trying to help our friend Twinkle here find her way home. But we don't know where that is, matey. Have you seen any sea stars who look like her? Mm, I don't know. She looks a little like my cousin Shirley. No way. She's got much shorter arms. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't think you're from round here. <sighs> Maybe I'll never find my way home. Don't give up, Twinkle. I've got a feeling we're getting really close to something. Yow! <gasps> <gasps> Wolfield! <laughs> they eat sea stars too! <gasps> this way! Phew! All right, everyone, he's gone. Let's... Oh, look at Twinkle! Wh what? Aye, she's glowing! Doesn't everybody glow in the dark? <laughs> no, but most sea creatures who glow in the dark live in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. The Midnight Zone! It's safe. Back to the cup, Octonauts. Next stop, the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone is completely dark. Many of the creatures who live here make their own light, just like Twinkle. Hey, this is starting to look familiar. Let me see. No, <laughs> Twinkle, don't touch that. Yeah. Hold on, Octonauts. <gasps> this could get bumpy. <laughs> 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 wasn't supposed to happen, right? There you go. Thank you. Where are we, Captain? Looks like we've landed at the bottom of a very deep hole in the Midnight Zone. Wow. It's really dark outside. <gasps> the lights are broken. <clears throat> and inside, too. Tentacle, it hurts. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Let's get this off first. You need a bandage. There, good as new. Thanks. Lean on me, matey. Now let's get you out of here. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, time is running out. The volcano will erupt in the next five minutes. Got it, Shellington. Let's do one last check and make sure everyone's out. Meet back at the Cup A in three minutes. Yes, Captain. Captain Barnacles to Quasi. Is everyone out of your area? Aye, Captain. All clear. Whoa! Get back to the cup as fast as you can. Peso, is your area clear? Yes, Captain. Oh, no. They're still here. It's Bob, Bob and Bob. Captain, there are three blobfish right over the volcano. We're on our way, Peso. Come on, Quasi. Oh, I'm coming for you, Bob and Bob. But you're so far away. Bob! Peso! We have to get you and your brothers out of here. Oh, I thought I could do it by myself, but the truth is, I have no muscles. I'm all jiggly like a jelly. I can barely move. Don't worry. We're here to help. Shellington to Captain. 
You should get out of there now! We're on our way. Peso, you take Bob. Quasi, you take Bob. Oh, but, but what about Bob? Bob's with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, tickle, tickle. Here, that tickles. <laughs> Let's go. Good work, Octonauts. Okay, Tweak. Let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Open water. Now, if I can just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas? This path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm. The belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack. Good to see you tuning. Belugas, follow me! It's fish biscuit feast time! Yeah! Yes, it's working! Now shit on the whiskers. Those little fishies think this is food for them. Go away! Go on! Go! Go! Leave it alone! Belugas, follow me! It's dinner time! Too many scary noises have to stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> oh, 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 my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Ca 
Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso. It's showtime. It's working. Peso's xylophone playing sounds just like the Beluga song. Have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. Thank you, Octonauts. 